Welcome to this edition of WatchingTheNet.com's tutorial on how to reset your password in Windows when you have forgotten it. There's two ways, there's three ways to do this. Uh, one way is if you set up a reset password disk, you can use that to recover your password or reset it. Another way is if you have another user account in Windows, you can log on with that account and reset the other account's password. Third way is is some kind of boot disk that can change the password for you, and the one is called Offline NT Password and Registry Editor, and this has been around for a while and it's well supported. So to get started, just go to Google, type Offline NT Password, click Search, and at the second result, click that. This will take you to the page uh, with instructions on how to do this, uh, text instructions. But the, which you can go back at the end of the video and read through if you need to. Um, for the meantime, we're just going to download what we need by scrolling about three quarters of the way down the page to the download section. Now, there's three ways you can boot up. One is with the CD image, which includes all the drivers you need and SCSI drivers. Second way is with a floppy boot. Uh, if your disk drives are connected to a SCSI controller, you'll also want to download the SCSI drivers so it can uh, load the proper SCSI driver to um, access your hard drive. Third way is by the USB boot. And in order to boot th with a USB drive, uh, download the CD image and in there is a readme file that I'll show you how to do this. So for now, what we're gonna, I'm gonna do is just download the CD image and burn it to disk. Okay, once you burn it to disk or create the floppy, put it in the drive and boot up. The first screen you'll see is the boot up screen. At the boot prompt there you just want to hit enter to continue and it'll load uh, all the necessary drivers needed. This is a little Linux kernel that it's loading. It'll, it's doing some hardware checks and um, it's looking what kind of hardware you have so it can load the proper drivers and access your hard drive. This step here is probably the longest one, just the initializing and the loading of the kernel to get you going. But once we get to the next prompt, it'll go pretty quick. Okay. Now, step one, what we want to do is we want to select our boot partition so as you'll notice in the brackets then uh, the defaults will always be selected and you could just hit enter so in my case here it did find mine and it's number one is my boot partition so I'm just going to hit enter the next step what it uh, wants to do is ask me you know, what do I want to do so I'm going to select one which is password reset so I'm just going to hit enter the next step I want to edit the user data and password. So that's one, which is the default. I'm going to select that. Okay, the next step, it lists all the user accounts on your system, and the one that I need to change is the WTN account. So I'm just going to type WTN, enter. And then the next step is it's asking me to change the password. And if you want a blank password, you can just type the wildcard in, but uh, there's some known problems in Vista. Sometimes it doesn't recognize that and it causes you some problem. The best thing to do is just type a password in. So just type the word password because you, once you get in, you can change it later. Press enter. Do I really want to change this? Yes. Press Y. Next step is I want to quit because uh, I don't want to change any more passwords so just hit the exclamation point and enter and the next uh, question is uh, what I want to do I want to quit at this point uh, which we did before uh, we'll just do it again so hit exclamation point there you go at this point I want to type Q to quit and now this is the important part where it has to write the files so you want to select yes to write your changes back to the uh, file so it saves your changes press enter okay edit complete um, at this point now I don't want to do a new run I can pretty much just hit con 
uh, control delete to restart it. Okay, after reboot, just want to type in your password. And you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial from watchingthenet.com.